Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Wouldn't it be great if you could email someone photos right from iPhoto? Well, you can. Right up here in the Share menu, you'll see Email. But before selecting it, you can either select a few photos that you want to send, or if you don't select any, it will just assume you want to send the whole event. That's what I'll do. So I'll select Share, Email, and look what it does. It brings up the last layout I used, which was corkboard, and places my photos there. Now, you'll see that there's some really simple layouts and lots of really cool ones. I'm going to pick postcard. So once you've picked a layout, if you don't like how iPhoto dropped the photos, you can rearrange them just by clicking and dragging. Let's swap those two. And now let's bring the two snake photos next to each other. Then, if you click on a photo, you'll get this little zoom slider. So you can zoom in on the photo. And then, if you click on it, you can drag it around to decide how to crop it. Finally, you can go click and add a message. And you can change the font if you like. Or the size. And change the alignment horizontally and vertically if you like. Actually, I don't like that font. I'm going to change it to something else. How about this one? Let's go add a title here. Okay. Now, down at the bottom, on the right, you'll see Attach Photos to Message. That's if you want the photos attached to your email in addition to being shown in whatever layout you chose. If you do that, you can also choose what size of email attachments, if you want the actual size, or maybe something smaller so the message isn't so big and doesn't take so long to send and receive. Finally, go add the recipient's addresses. Maybe edit the subject line that it suggested. And then click Send. Ah, I see that since I picked actual size, it says, do you want to send an email this large? Because this is going to be a huge email. So let me cancel that, and I will attach just a medium size. There it goes. Now let's go see what it looks like to the recipient. Okay, so here it is, received in Gmail, and just looks gorgeous, just how we set it up. And down here you'll see, with those attachments, it actually zipped them together in a zip file called pictures.zip. If I downloaded that and then unzipped it, I'd have the five attached photos. There's just one thing you need to do before being able to email from iPhoto. You'll need to go to the iPhoto preferences and tell iPhoto about your email account. I'll show you how to do that in the article below. So impress your friends and send them or me some gorgeous emails of your exotic travels, exciting shopping discoveries, tasty home-cooked meals, or even you in your easy chair. Have fun with it.